What's going on everyone? I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be talking about camera movements. This is something that I've learned over the years that your shot doesn't always have to be smooth. You can have your camera shaking, you can twist it around, you can break a few rules here and there to make your shots look more dynamic. Obviously before you start shooting you need to know your story, you need to know your shots, they have to be planned and this will definitely help you to just know that you're not as you're shooting what are you doing exactly this style that i'm about to show you works more when you have an instrumental that is more fast paced and more upbeat and it can help you to even transition to the next shot in a very smooth way so i'm going to show you a very simple shot that i took here i was shaking my camera So just a side note, here I was shooting in 24 frames per second. At least it's more cinematic, it's more real. Unless when I have a camera that goes up to 120 frames per second or 60 frames per second, and I want the slow motion, then I can use the slow motion feature. But most of the times when I'm doing these effects or these shots, I try work with 24 frames per second. So um, here Martin was going up and down and all I was trying to do now was thinking on how I can transition from what I was doing there to going to the next shot because a lot of the times you don't want the viewer to see that cut. It has to be smooth, it has to be seamless. So the better you can do that, the better your video will look. So as you can see here, um, he was going back and forth, back and forth and I wanted to find out how I can go to the next shot and the next shot I had was this one of GK falling down so I ended up actually reversing the whole thing to GK falling down first going to Martin um, you can let me know in the comments what you think of this transition so like I mentioned earlier on everything doesn't have to be moving always some shots can be stagnant some shots can be just buttery smooth um, these are just samples that can help you to find more creative ways of expressing yourself as a creator um, I'm still honing my craft but I feel like this can make the viewer want to watch the videos more everything is trial and error sometimes you make mistakes sometimes you fail but you always need to get back up and see how better you can improve yourself each and every time so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching remember to subscribe press the like button and we'll see you guys in the next one peace